Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing my second MIT App Inventor video and today we'll be making a draw or a doodle app. So when it loads we're going to create a new project and call it draw or doodle or sketchpad or whatever you want to call it. But for this video I'm going to start a new project and call it draw just for the video. and when it loads, the very first thing we're going to do is change the name on the screen. So it's not called screen one. And when it loads, there you go. When it loads, we're going to change the title of the properties of screen one to draw. And that's it. That's all we need to change for that. And then we're going to go to drawing animation and drag and drop a canvas. At the moment though, it just fills that area. So we're going to go over to width and click fill parent. So it fills the whole width of the screen and height, fill parent. Okay. Sometimes you just have to do that when it doesn't fill the whole screen. You have to check scrollable and then uncheck it and then it'll fill the whole screen. But then we're going to add a few buttons. So it's, we're going to add three buttons for the different colours and one button to wipe the screen. And as you can see though, they're like that, which makes the, the canvas very small. So we're going to go over to layouts and get horizontal arrangement and put the buttons on. So now they're like this and the user will now be able to see the lines so it'll all look good. Then we're going to change the text on that one to black and we'll change the font size to 20 and we'll do that same for this one except we'll call it red and the same for this one except we'll call it blue for the video I'm only going to do these two colors um, you can add as many as you want but be careful because you don't want it going off the screen so then we're going to change the text for button 4 here to clear and clear screen and then in brackets I'm going to put shake because that's what we're going to add in um, so um, a small nice trick that if you shake the screen it will clear but now as you can see if we're being used by a young child who can't read we're going to um, want to have the colors so we're going to change black to black red to red and the blue button to blue. The black can't be seen though because it's got um, a black text and a black background. So we're going to go over to the properties and on text color and change it to white. And for this, we're just going to change the background color to white. So there you go. That's that bit done. But we're also going to add an accelerometer sensor for when it, it's shaked it will clear. So that's that done. This can't be seen by the user so it goes down here and you can add buttons, you can add um, different colour background but for now that's just what we're going to do. So now we're on blocks we're going to go over to canvas1 and we're going to do when canvas1 not dragged so when your finger is dragged from one point to the next it will draw a line. So we go back to canvas1 and cool canvas one that draw line and we're gonna do get previous X get previous Y no not set so just hover over and click and hold on to it cut to current X and current Y so when it's dragged from one point 
to the next. So that will draw a line, and that's very simple, and the default colour is black. But we're going to want, obviously, the different colours that we've done. So we're going to do when button one dot click, do when button two dot click. And when button three dot click. So it's button one, it's back, back. it's going to go into colours. colours. And we're going to get back. Button two was red and last of all button three was blue so now we've got the colors there but we need to tell the canvas to change the paint color so if you go to canvas one and scroll right down to the bottom to canvas one dot paint color sorry not set canvas one dot paint color to black and we'll duplicate that but remove the black duplicate that put the red onto here and the blue onto there so now you've got the different colors for the paint but like I said we've got the clear button so if we go over to button 4 go back up to the top again when button 4 dot click, do, and then go back to canvas, call canvas 1 dot clear. So that's that button done. But remember what we said about the shake and the accelerometer. So if, if we go to blocks and click on accelerometer, and then dot shaking, call the canvas clear. So there those are the blocks pause this now if you want to copy them and this is what it looks like here again pause it now if you would like to copy so i hope this video helped you and that you will add extra buttons and different features to this so thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe Hi guys, you've just seen me create this draw app using MIT App Inventor and I'm going to show you how to test this. This works the same also for the Hello World app. And to start off with, you need to open up your MIT AI2 companion app on your phone. I showed you a picture of it on Google Play in my previous video. And I will leave in the a link in the description um, for the Google Play version. So. Now I've got that open, just put it down and go over to the top left hand corner of your screen and click connect and click on AI companion. And then the QR code will come up and so will a six digit code. So put it back down and on the phone you can either enter the six digit code or scan QR code. So this scans, give it a while to load, and then when it comes up, it will show your app that you've just created. So here we have the default color, a black line. Then we've got red, can you see the colors there? Blue, I'm sorry, no, blue, there you go, there's a blue line. And then black again works there. And to clear it, you can either shake, so just do that to your phone, or if we just draw, and then click clear there. So there, that's me testing this app, and I'll leave a link in the description of to download the MIT AI2 Companion. And thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.